Hello, my name is Jorge Barrero. In this video, I'm going to show how to apply a uh, V-Ray Tune material to uh, scene here in uh, using uh, V-Ray for SketchUp. So the scene that I have here is a basic interior uh, room uh, with daylight coming in. There are two materials applied to the scene, one to the chair, one to the rest of the uh, to the room. And the uh, V-Ray 2 material, what it does is basically gives us something similar to what we have here, where it is uh, a rendering with an overlay of the um, outline of the room, the black lines that we see, uh, except is a rendered uh, effect. That way, uh, it allows us to uh, get sort of a similar look of SketchUp, but with the added benefit of having a photorealistic rendering uh, merged into it at the same time. So when I look at my materials, I have two. I have a uh, blue and I have white. If I open my uh, material editor here in V-Ray, you can see my same two materials. In order to create a V-Ray 2 material, I'm going to right click on Scene Materials, select Add Material, and select Add V-Ray Tune Material. And it is created. Um, what I have to do now is rename it uh, so I know what it is. I'll just call it Tune and press Enter. Um, maybe what I'll do in this case, I'm just going to rename this Tune Blue so that I know I will, I'm going to be applying this one to the blue chair. For the V-Ray Tune material, given that it's an effect, um, it basically requires a base material, which you can see here, base material is just empty at the moment. So when I click on that, it prompts me to select a base material. In this case, I can say the blue that's already attached to the chair. Hit apply. If I do a quick preview, you can see there's my blue and there's a, a black silhouette line applied to it. You can compare it with the update. Uh, you can barely see, but there's there's no line there. So. Uh, you can notice the difference. At this point, I can click on my materials. Um, in SketchUp, there's my new Tune Blue material. I can use the paint bucket to apply that to the chair. And um, let me just show you what the rendering looked like before without any tune effect uh, by pulling up the frame buffer. This is what the rendering looks like. Um, there's no black lines overlaid, but I'm going to go ahead and render now, and we can uh, take a look at the effect. And here's the rendering uh, as it comes online. One thing you'll notice um, as soon as uh, it starts rendering, um, V-Ray Tune is a, an effect that's actually applied at render time, so even on our previews we won't see any of the black lines uh, that will be on our scene, uh, but it really will only happen um, when um, the final rendering starts calculating. My cursor over the, uh, the chair that has the tune material so we can see the effect. And you can see now the chair has the black outline. Uh, similar, not very um, different than what we saw with the uh, SketchUp preview. Um, at this point, I didn't have a V-Ray Tune material applied on the rest of the, rest of the uh, white material on the rest of the scene, so we don't have black lines there. We'll do that next and uh, take a look at the result. So I'm going to go back to my uh, V-Ray material editor. I'm going to add a, another V-Ray Tune material. I'm going to call this one Tune White. That white. And for this one, I'm going to choose a different base material. Uh, I'll take the white material that's on everything else. Do a quick preview. You can see that. Um, and I still have to apply that tune white to the wall, ceiling, floor, etc. And at that point, I can just re render. And what we should see is uh, the V ray tune effect applied to the entire scene. And here comes the rendering.
be right tune uh, does add a little bit of extra time to the rendering time uh, as a post effect but uh, have not seen really a substantial increase in render times when I've used it in the past so it's not uh, something that's going to kill your render times if uh, that's the look you want to uh, go for and uh, as I mentioned before uh, we won't see the the line work until the final rendering pass here and it should start showing up there it is now different things that you can control is uh, the width of the line work, the color of the line work, um, additional uh, opacity and, and other things uh, that you can do. But uh, you know, this is sort of the basic way to apply a V-Ray Tune material. Um, I encourage everybody to kind of try different uh, settings, see what kind of results you get. Uh, it's actually a pretty nice way uh, to show uh, a rendering with uh, photorealism, but uh, also to find some of the geometries and uh, keep things sort of there on the conceptual side. And uh, you can see the, the final result. Uh, it's it's a, sort of a, a merge of the SketchUp look and the uh, photorealistic uh, V-Ray lighting.